Hi friends, my name is Julie. I live in California and I'm an embroidery artist. Today I will show you how I package my Etsy orders and will give you some eco-friendly ideas. I think that customers who shop on Etsy are different. They appreciate handmade stuff, original design and slow local production. Prior to the product itself, customers will see your packaging. This creates the very first impression of your brand, your store and your aesthetics in general. I use simple hand-stamped label with the name of my shop and always add handwritten thank you card with the name of a customer because I think it creates this really nice personalized experience that you can rarely get uh, at regular stores. And to secure label and thank you card I use rope. It adds this really raw handmade vibe. Personally for me it was crucial to use only natural materials and make my packaging as eco-friendly and cute as I could. I don't like plastic packaging, that's why I use craft paper. Sometimes I reuse paper that comes with orders from other shops because I think it's uh, very nice to give second chance to anything you have in your life. To make package more cute I add stamps. Sometimes they are connected to the theme of the order and sometimes I use different stamps for different seasons. And to keep craft paper in place I use washi tape, I really like this light green color and the same rope. And in the end I always add some dried flowers, because first of all who doesn't like flowers and second of all it represents really nice my personal aesthetics and aesthetic of my brand and I think it also adds this really cute and nice touch. I always imagine to myself the smile of a person who opens up a package and sees these beautiful dried flowers. I will leave a link in the description box to everything I use for my packaging, so if you like it, feel free to check it out. And in the end guys, I want to encourage you to try everything you dream about. Because you know, it took me a very long time to open my shop, simply because I was afraid that nobody will like it and nobody will buy anything from me. But it was not true. I think it's better to try and fail than regret not trying for the rest of your life. Just always be proud of what you are doing and enjoy the process itself and not the result. And if you will work hard and be patient, you will always achieve anything you want. Guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and spending it with me. I appreciate it a lot. And I see you in my next one. Bye.